So here's an item on T-Blocks. So this is a lock I bought in China for about $3 in bulk. This is from a manufacturer called Bulkies. And uh, here's a padlock with uh, six pins. And it's interesting to see how these locks are made cheap and what consequences this has. So this lock, you can see the plug, it has material cut out. Right, so this is to save material cost. And also, what you'll see is there is one, two, three, four, five, six pins. This pin is there to hold the plug in place. And these pins, so it looks like a, a high security lock, but if you take a look, close look at the pins, you will see that they use the exact same pins as bottom and top pin. So both pins have a tip, as you can see. Normally they're flat. And by using the same pins, having pins with a tip, um, there is more room at the shear line, so the tolerances are not as tight anymore. So this as, as a result that it is easier to pick the lock. And in fact in this lock, if I try to pick it, all I need to do is set the fourth pin and I can't really see what I'm doing. Let's have a close look. The fourth pin, the second pin and the lock opens. So it's a six pin lock, but in reality there's only two pins, this one and this one, that matter. You can see this when opening the lock with the key. You see that these pins are not at the same height. But when opening They're still not at the same height when opening. You see, they're pushed to the correct height. So the key is actually not completely fitting for the bidding on the, on the pins. So by turning slightly, the pin set to the correct position, and this will allow, allow the lock to open. Now I have some other cheap locks that I bought in a local store. These are only one and a half euros each. They also have plugs where material is cut away. I bought several. And it's interesting to see that they are actually not keyed alike. But again, the tolerances are quite high. In fact, if I take out the key one pin, it will still operate the lock. I'd say that's pretty bad. The other one, take it out one notch. Yep, it still operates. Let's try two it still operates. How is this possible? And how is this possible? So you see, it's there's actually only one pin in this lock that actually matters. And let's take the other key from the other lock. It didn't operate as I showed you. But it operates like this. This one then doesn't fit. Yep, that works with a bit of jiggling. So actually, actually these cheap locks are really quite bad. I can even extract the key 
while it's in the open position. So my advice is if you want to have a high quality lock, you need to buy high quality material.